Now we just talked about the AVC or the automatic voltage controller and how critical it is to maintain a correct height during cutting. But the cut height isn't the only thing that's important to the life of your plasma and the quality of your cut. Another thing I'd like to talk about is the pierce height. Now, I'll just draw the outside of the torch, which looks something like this. Now, most of the time you're trying to pierce through the middle of a piece of material. It is possible to pierce at the edge, but only when your parts are aligned along that edge. For the most part, you're wanting to pierce a hole through the middle of a piece of material, a blind hole. Now on thin material, it's not really a problem. But on a thicker material, what you're actually asking the machine to do is to erode a hole through the material. Now you can imagine that material is very hot and it has to go somewhere. The only place for it to go is back up around the torch. And you'll see when you're piercing thick material, especially virtually a volcano of molten metal coming out. Now this can take anywhere up to one and a half seconds on the thickest material. But most of your settings will generally be around 0.4 to 0.7 of a second. The main reason is, as you increase the thickness of the material, you also increase the power. And of course, the pierce time still remains approximately the same. Now, the critical point during this is that moment, as I said, when you're trying to pierce through the material. If the torch is too close to the material, all that metal goes directly back up at the torch because it's got nowhere else to go. So it's very important to maintain a pierce height. I'll just write that down so you remember. Now, the pierce height is a setting that's set by the person who's creating the NC file. And it's simply the distance between the tip of the torch and the job. Now this can vary depending on the material and depending on the consumables, but it will usually be at least three millimeters and maybe anywhere up to seven or eight millimeters for the thicker material. Now, as a, as a rule of thumb, I like to pierce at least the thickness of the material above the surface. So as you can imagine, for one millimeter material, it's not very critical to get high. And most of the time, you'll be piercing around about one and a half to two millimeters. On five and six millimeter material, I like to get the torch about five or six mil up off the material. And that allows enough space for the metal to to uh, evacuate from the area. If I was cutting 25 mil material, obviously I can't pierce at 25 millimeters. Simply the arc wouldn't transfer between the torch and the job. So there is a maximum and it's generally somewhere around about seven millimeters. And it's something that you can vary a little bit. The book does have an optimum pierce height and it's usually twice the cut height. But for safety's sake, it is always good to travel to pierce just a little bit higher off the material. And that'll give you a longer, um, particularly a longer nozzle life because that's what cops all the impact. Another danger with piercing too low is in fact, even though there's such high pressure and high temperature plasma coming out of this nozzle, it's quite possible for metal to go back up inside the nozzle and create small beads, which will of course affect not only the plasma flow, but will also cause arcing inside the torch. Now that'll shorten the life of the tips and quite often it will destroy them so that they have to be replaced immediately. Now that's costly and certainly something to avoid.